Okay, continuing with our uh, GUI interface for our music player, I just did a search online, I just did Tux Music and found this cute little picture of Tux uh, that we're going to throw into our, our GUI application here. I downloaded that and saved it to the folder where I have my uh, XML Glade file saved. Uh, I'm going to choose image here and add an image to this empty container we have up here. I'm going to change it from stock to file name and then I'm going to browse for the image file that is saved which is right here and you can see it kind of stretched everything out if you don't want it that big you can uh, edit the picture in GIMP and make it the size you would like I'm going to save that and I am going to run our application so here you are you can see uh, our buttons are still here for volume on the side and our play buttons and stuff are on the bottom here I'm going to press play control the volume uh, now, we know that uh, if you look through the X XMMS2 uh, options, current, uh, what that will do uh, is print out the name and artist of the current song. So what I have here is a command for Zenity to create an info box uh, with the text that is the output of the XMMS2 uh, command. So, the way we do that is exactly like that. Zenity, inf dash dash info, dash dash text, and text equals, and inside quotations, we do dollar sign, and then in parentheses, the command that we want, which is XMMS2 current. Uh, if we hit enter there, you'll see that it makes a little Zenity dialog box, and it says they might be giants, which is the band, and birdhouse in your soul's name of the song. Um, so, if we take that, and we copy it, we can go into here and one of these empty uh, buttons we have, such as this one, we can go to signals, clicked, and we can paste that command in there and then we can change the label to info. We will save that, we will close the window we have open, and we will run our GTK dialog uh, uh, command again. Now, oh, I must not hit enter after I relabeled that, but the button works and it puts the information out there. Let's close that. Let's, uh, oh, because I renamed the button, not the label. So, info. And we are going to save that. Now we'll run our application again. GTK dialog. Uh, the name of our XML file, our Glade file, and then the window we want to open. There we go, and now it says info, and we get our info there. Now you'll notice that when I do that, as long as that little info window is open, our application doesn't work anymore because it's locked up. Uh, so what we're going to do, it caught up after I closed that window, we don't want that. We want that window to open up, and we want it to... Um, our music player to keep working even though that's up. So what we're going to do is, if you're familiar with Bash and the lessons I've taught in the past, uh, if you add the end sign to the end of a command, it puts that command kind of in the background and allows it to run allows other commands to keep running. That's all we have to do is add this little end sign uh, after our command. We'll save that. We will run our GTK dialog again now if I hit info, the info box comes up. That song doesn't have a name or anything, but our application still works while that info box is still up and running. And we can open up another one. Now we have both those windows open. So that's how you can quickly do little informational boxes in your advanced GUI using tools we've learned in the past with Zenity. Uh, for more tips, tutorials, lessons, and videos like this, visit bashscripts.info.